Hello everyone, this is Dunch Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Marvel Legends Rogue and Pyro. Uh, so let's go over to the box real quick. So you get the gold X symbol there for X-Men. You get Marvel's Rogue, Marvel's Pyro. Um, yellow, I meant yellow highlighted there. You get the black outline for the box here. You get the Marvel Legends logo on top. And then here's the side art of Rogue. And then here's the back with the side art of Rogue and Pyro. And then here's the side art of Pyro right there. Here's the top with the gold X logo there with the Marvel Legends logo inside of that. And here's the bomb with the UCPI, or I got it from GameStop. So besides that, let's crack them open. And here they are in the packaging here. So first let's go over Pyro. Um, so for the accessories that he has, so he has two flames for putting on his fists here. This translucent, you get more of the orange reddish looking color at the ends and then yellow here. And all you would do is just port them onto his fists right here, like that, pretty easy. And then you get an extra head sculpt here where he's like smiling, looking crazy, like that. And his hair is all foofed up. So yeah, there's that, it's just him smiling though, so. And then here's Pyro here. So first, here's his head sculpt. So yeah, like his hair is all foofed up. They added a lot of detail, putting in a little more of the darker blonde wash in there. He got red eyes. He got that weird mask, orange mask. And then you get that mask going out through the neck. And you get this like little separate vest piece here. So if you, I'm pretty sure you guys can probably take it off. Yeah, you can. So if you want to just pop off the hands and then slide that off and the other one, and then there's a port in there, just slide that off and then pop it off the head. And yeah, there you go. So yeah, this is a pretty, this one's a soft plastic. So yeah, it comes with a collar here. You get that little yellow diamond there, which is pretty cool. Wide shoulder pads here. And you get like wires in the back there to his wrist for his flames, which is pretty cool. And what's funny is that it has ports in there, so that would have been cool if you added like flamethrower type of effect in there. That would have been a lot cool, really cool. And then you got all this detail there for like a flamethrower pack or something. And then, yeah, you get that orange there for the sleeves, yellow gloves. And then you get the yellow down the lower torso, red boots there. So that's cool. But besides that, that's all we got for X. For the looks, so let's go over his um, articulation. So his head can hinge down that far, up that far. You can look left and right, kind of. The collar collar get in the way a little bit. I uh, very little head pivoting. His shoulders can move out just that far. Shoulder pads are in the way. If he 360 rotation, maybe ish. It's not really working so well. He does have like a small butterfly joint in there. I didn't notice that at first until I was trying to do the 360 rotation there, but you could probably do it. Uh, yeah, biceps swiveled there, double jointed elbows. The wrists can hinge down or yeah, they hinge. Oh my, they're not wanting to right now though. There we go. Hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation around there. He has a ab crunch so you can crunch down that far, backwards that far. He has a wasteful, so 360 rotation around there. Legs he can kick out that far only, forward quite a lot. Uh, backwards, none. He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees. He has a boot cut here. Ankle can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. And here's Rogue. So she comes with a little bit of accessories. So you get like the open hands that we've seen before for her, the green. So yeah, we've seen these hands before. Same deal in the other one. A little bit of, more of a wider hand, like wall crawling hands kinda. So there's that. And then you get the pissed off head sculpt for her. Uh, the, your right, uh, or her left eye is a little cockeyed a little bit, so it's looking out a little bit, like a lazy eye. But yeah, I like the lip gloss effect there, so that's good. You get to see the teeth, her angry face there. So they did a good job on the head sculpt. And then hair's a little foofed up, like she's extremely pissed. So, and then the hair's in the ponytail, so yeah. 
Uh, but besides that, let's go over the actual figure here. So here's her smiley. Uh, and then you get the white hair for the front there and you get the brown hair in the back tied up with a white hair tie. You get the white scarf for her. So you, that's a separate piece. So if you guys want to pop off the head and just take that off, you can. And then you get this white detail here. So you get the white X in the middle there and the lines go out. You get the white X's on the shoulders here. And then you get more white detailing going down through the skirt and you get this belt here. It comes with pouches and then uh, X logo there. Keeps going down and it goes around the skirt here. And you get the belt going all the way around there. So, and then you get green pants and then you get this like little boot piece here for leg. And then, so that's supposed to be like a boot and then these are supposed to be like a little bands, I guess, white bands. So yeah, um, but not a whole lot of detail. I mean, it's, it's a good amount of detail, like good enough. It's accurate to the comics, but Let's go over to uh, articulation here. So her head can hinge down just that far up a little bit because the hair kind of gets in the way there. She can look left and right. Uh, a little head pivoting there, a lot, I mean. Her shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around there. Single joints in the elbows, so you don't get a lot of movement in there, but you can do 360 rotation around the elbow there. Her wrists can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation around there she has a diaphragm joint so she can go forward not a whole lot backwards a little bit and then you, you can get her to do a 360 yeah it's kind of tough it's, she's a little stiff still and then you get her to move side to side like barely any her legs can kick out that far forward a little bit the skirt gets in the way backwards none she has a thigh cut there, double jointed knees, uh, no boot cut, uh, ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pit. So there's Rogue and Pyro for you. So uh, I don't really know the story between uh, between these two, to be honest. So if you guys know, just like let me know in the comments, in the comments and let me know what the story is and why they were in the pack together. I don't really pay attention to, to x-men as much as i do with spider-man and avengers and fantastic four but um yeah if you guys know just let me know in the comments um but i don't really have any problems with any of these besides maybe a little bit of stiffness no paint mess ups or anything like that um but besides that that's all i've got